Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve one more problem related to earned leave. Mr. X is a non-government employee who receives 28,000 as earned leave salary at the time of retirement on 10th March 2023. On the basis of the following information, determine the amount of taxable earned leave salary. So we have given the details. Based upon that details, we have to calculate uh, the tax taxable earned leave so basic pay is 4000 per month since 1 1 2022 from 1st january 2022 his basics uh, his basic pay was 4000 per month duration of service it is 16 years 4 months months you have to ignore only consider the years whatever he has completed service leave at the credit of the employee at the time of retirement seven months leave was there in his account he was entitled for leave salary of 45 days for every completed year of service means in one year he was getting 45 days of earned leave but according to it laws he is supposed to get only 30 days let the organization give n number of days but for the purpose of tax calculation we will consider only 30 days as earned leave for every single completed years. Leave availed while in service is 17 months. Total the person has taken 17 months of EL. What benefit he would have got if he would have been a government employee? That is the first point. So that answer we can tell now itself. If he was a government employee, then there would be a complete tax exemption would have been there. Since he is a non-government employee, he has to pay the tax. That is the main answer. So let us try to solve the problem. The first component will be actual earned leave received. So actual earned leave received is 28,000. So yes, they have told that Mr. X is a non-government employee and he has received 28,000 as earned leave. So earned leave is 28,000. From that, least of the following is exempted. So for him, he will be getting certain exemptions. So the first exemption is actual earned leave received. So how much is the actual earned leave received? Actual earned leave received is 28,000. The second exemption is maximum amount of 3 lakh rupees. As per the government prescribed amount, maximum limit, a uh, maximum amount he can take as exemption is 3 lakh rupees. The third exemption is 10 months into average salary. 10 months into average salary. Now we have to find out the average salary. So calculation of salary. So first we have to find out the salary for 10 months. So for the purpose of calculating earned leave, salary will be basic pay plus DNS allowance entering into retirement benefit plus DNS pay plus commission. So Basic pay they have told it is 4000 per month. We need to calculate it for 10 months. So 4000 into 10 months plus there is no DNS allowance, there is no DNS pay, and there is no commission. So everything will be zero. 4000 into 10 months will be 40,000. The average salary will be 40,000 divided by 10 because 40,000 is for 10 months. So we want an average of that. So we are dividing it by 10. 40,000 divided by 10 will be 4,000 rupees. So 4,000 is the average salary. So 10 months into 4,000 we have to do. So you will get 40,000. Next exemption. Next exemption is approved period into average salary. Approved period into average salary. Now we have to find out the approved period. So calculation of approved period. So again two column you have to take particulars column and amount column. Leave entitled as per IT laws. So as per the IT law what is the leave entitled? So how many years he has worked? He has completed 16 years. So for each year he will get one month of EL. So total he will get 16 months of EL. Okay. Leave availed while in service is 17 months. But he has taken 17 months leave which he has taken more than the uh, uh, like maximum limit. So the leave earned will be minus one month, which is nothing but zero. You can consider it as zero. So the fourth exemption, zero months into 4,000, the amount will be zero. Whichever is lesser, zero is the lesser. 
so the exemption will be zero for him so fully 28000 is taxable so in question they have told what benefit he would have got if he would have been government employee he would have got complete exemption and no tax at all but now since he is a non government employee he is having zero exemption because of the leave he has and he has to pay complete tax for 828000 so this is how we need to solve the problem hope you understood how to solve the problem in my further videos i'll come back with some more problems related to earned leave